Hi, my name is Ali DePew with Inspired Classroom, and today we are going to learn how to use our Polycom video conferencing system to dial into a class. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to know is a little bit about the equipment. This is your microphone. When these lights right here are green, your microphone is live. When they're red or there are no lights at all, that, might, that means that your microphone is either off or that it is muted. This right here is your camera. When you're speaking, make sure that you and your students look at the camera and make sure that you project your voice in a loud, clear way. You'll also have monitors. Now, you may have one monitor set up in your class or you might have two monitors, like I do. Regardless, you need to make sure that those monitors are turned on and that the volume is turned up. Okay, now the remote. This is a part that I want to take a few minutes and I want to show you around the remote. Okay, when you walk into the classroom and you're ready to connect, the first thing you're going to do is press this center button. That's going to wake up the camera. Now, if you press the button and nothing happens, it may mean that your system was powered off. That's a pretty easy fix. You just hold down this power button for a few seconds and you'll need to be patient. It takes a minute or two for the system to power up. Once your system is on, I'm going to show you a few more buttons, then we'll learn how to connect. So, on the left side of your remote, you see the volume control. Plus for high, minus for low. Also, on the right-hand side, you'll see the zoom. This way, you can zoom in on particular students or maybe even an object that you'd like to share with the other groups. In order to control your camera, these buttons right here, they're like your toggle buttons. They'll go up, down, left, and right. I encourage you to play with those buttons ahead of time so you kind of get a feel for everything. The next most important button is your mute button right here. Now, if you're in a multi-point conference, this means that there may be a presenter and more than one class, so two or three classes. Conferencing etiquette would have you mute your button. That way, if a student has a coughing fit or the intercom comes on or there's a lot of shuffling or rustling of papers, it's not going to distract from everybody else's experience during the video conference. So by pressing this button, you'll, it will mute your side and you'll see it'll say, microphone muted. You can also look at your microphone and the light should be red. Now, I want to tell you about these two keys. This one is the call key, it's a green telephone, and this one is the hang up key, it's the red telephone. So we're going to find out what happens when we press those keys. So, I am going to press my green button right now. This page is going to come up. Now, I can do a couple of things. If I wanted to place a call immediately, I would just hit that green button once more. But maybe somebody has stored all the phone numbers or IP addresses that you need in the directory. What you'll do is you'll toggle down and you'll use those toggle buttons that also control the camera to do that. Uh, the, the center button that has the dot in it, that is like your enter button. So once you get down, you can press that center button. Oh, and I can see that I have a couple of different Option. I don't want either of those options right now, so I'm just going to hit this home button and it'll take me right back. So you can look right here behind the home button is right here. I can also go down to recent calls and if we've connected recently, you should see my IP address right there in this list of phone calls. Okay, those aren't any of the ones that, I, that I'm interested in right now. So again, I'm going to hit this home button. You can see the home button is located right there. And I'm going to go up to place a call. So I'm just going to, using those toggle buttons, I'm going to toggle up. Using the center button, I'm going to pl hit place a call. Now, this is actually the call that I would like to place. Um, this is going to a bridge room, and you can see that right here that is my IP address with my room number. So I'm going to enter that, and you'll use the keypad on your remote control. Once you have your IP entered, all you will do is press the green button again, and that will call. Let's see what happens. Welcome to Unified Conferencing. You are the first person to join the conference. There we go. Now we are in the bridge room and we are ready to connect. 
Please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask or call. You can find our information at www.inspiredclassroom.com. Thank you and have a great day.